Hey guys, this is what we're dealing with today. Separating the two of them because together they're just way too strong. And we're gonna beat it down. Let's go. Hey, what's happening guys? So we're playing Remnant from the Ashes again. I practiced up on this boss a few times and uh, I think I've got the winning formula here. Let's just get it on camera. Take these guys out. It's it's a lot like Dark Souls. Uh, the Smuck versus Hornstein fight. You really got to do a good job of separating the two of them because together they're just way too strong. I'm on the run. Using these pillars is really good too. If I can just bring them around the pillars. Okay, I think we're good on the little guys. Alright, let's go. just in the mood to run right now. I don't really feel like getting near all that plasma-ish. Who's next? Oh, that was my first heal, too? Oh, man, I am really going ham this round. Okay, you really can't be missing those point blankers. That's not working out for me. Just use a consumable, guarantee the kill. There we go. See you later, baby. Let's go. Nice. Whoa. It's over. New Not item, bad. black tear. Broke a sweat. I'll give you that. That was tough. That was the toughest boss I've fought so far. I think I beat the end in like four tries. That one took me probably like seven tries. I don't know. That was tough. I'm sure I could have done it more efficiently like one of the things that you got to understand when you're recording youtube videos is that i'm making like i'm like put in maybe an hour and a half into the game and then i'm sitting on like my video editing software for another like two hours then i'm on youtube uploading it and then i'm like doing other things as well and you kind of fall out of rhythm with the dodging and the pace of the game. Whereas, like, if I was just playing this like I was in high school and wasn't making any YouTube videos or anything, there's chances that I could have gone in there and, like, two or three shot that guy. Because I feel like just dodging the melee guy was the whole fight, and I couldn't freaking dodge him. And then the second I dodged him, it wasn't that bad. Um, let's see what we got here. Uh, we got 845. 
What is this black tear do? Powerful weapon mod. Okay, well, I have two powerful weapon mods that can be forged, so why don't we check those out and see what I can do with those? Because, yeah, I didn't even check out what the Harvester one was. The additional fire damage, even though it didn't seem like it was doing a lot, I think it was like 8 damage per second over like 20 seconds or something like that. So, I mean, 160 bonus damage is really nice. It just slowly ticks them down the whole time, so damage is always staying on them, even if it's, you know, something minor. I have officially learned this place. Look at that. Nice and quick. Yeah, better be worth my time. Black tier Illuminate Crystals. Let's see. Summons a Root Hollow that deals 20 damage per hit. Huh. Really? That's kind of cool. A guy that fights for us. He's probably like a meat shield too, which I could see really being really nice if you're a ranged hero. Creates a five meter energy field that absorbs up to 75 incoming range damage. Hero standing inside the energy field can shoot outward. Oh, that's pretty tight. Still, again, kind of, these both kind of seem like really good stuff if you're... You're ranged. Let's see I've what I can do with my do. traits. One trait point. World Walker. My health is already pretty high, I think. Oh, weapon reload speed would be pretty nice. Yeah, let's get weapon reload speed up. Okie dokie. Scoring Waste is where I just went after that boss. Um, after the Wasteland Merchant, there was an area we did not explore. I feel like we kind of already forked in one direction. We can go back and check out what we missed. Also, that very first dungeon that we went through and got beat down in the first ROM video... We can go that direction, too. So there might be literally, you know, th a three-pronged fork in the road right now. And we might be going down path number two. The boss we just beat will call path three. And path one was the original dungeon that we couldn't defeat with the lifesteal. So we, we're going to need to venture down that pathway eventually, too, for sure. Try to get that all on tape. I've, I've been doing my best to try to get my exact playthrough down. So if people want to see, you know, exactly how I went through this game and what I did, you know. All the information's out there. You just have to sit down and watch for like a couple of hours. And you'll have a pretty good idea of how to beat this. Um, okay, so take a look at the map. Yeah, so we went down. We did not go up. So if we go this way... You'll see what I'm referring to quickly. Oh no, that was the original dungeon? No, it wasn't. Was it? No. Okay, never mind. I'm wrong. I thought there was an additional area, and there wasn't. Um, we're still gonna just head towards that dungeon and see if I can handle it. I would like to just get the fork going as soon as possible. We'll just run by all these guys. Well, it is kind of fun. Maybe I'll just kill him.
almost just worth it for a while. I heard the dog coming, so I knew that I was gonna get nailed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I missed that. <laughs> gonna let me ask the question. Oh, it did. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay. Yeah. This area was interesting. You just have to stay on a, like a consistent rampage. Sorry. I couldn't quite hear you. Could you I'm gonna break my phone if this up. Citadel curse, but it didn't give me somewhere to say that. Need bullets, man. I need bullets and enemies, otherwise, I'm not going to make it. Yeah, look how much health I'm losing just walking around. Gonna have to pop consumables. Oh, this ain't good. Alright, come on. They're literally like hiding enemies on me. Up top, there's gonna be a ton of them. And this is a bad spot to fight, too. Here's a room, let's go in here. Sup, guys? That's what you wanted to see. Anyone else? Anyone else with some bright ideas? Yo, this is kind of fun. This is like... No, 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 no. Get out, get out. Really? I'm in trouble. Oh my god, dude. This is so crazy. The Bloodborne Whoa. combat, if extended... So uh, guys, when I say the Bloodborne combat, um, there was a, a specific thing in Bloodborne where if you killed people um, after they hit you, you would do additional damage. So um, I loved the Bloodborne combat because it just made it so that you were always in the fray, always swinging in people's face. It just made the game just a ton of fun. Oh, this ain't good. Anybody else? Nice. Wasn't there one more over here?
What? You got even more? I don't mind it. I'll take all the free health you'll give me. Whoa. That was oh. mad fun. Checkpoint. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to pop another healing potion to kind of offset this. Ooh. Oh, I beat it. Wastelanders flail. Plus five. Oh, they just gave me a plus five straight up. That was sick. That was mad fun. So I'm a mad, well, yeah, they definitely want me to leave the dungeon at this point. That was just like a trial of tears or something. Uh, okay, so pretty much that means that we're gonna... Uh, it'll be faster to just teleport back to the area after the first boss we just killed. Uh, we only got about four minutes here until we hit the 20 minute mark. So I'm going to see if I can try to extend it a little bit longer. What do we got? Um, yeah, I only have 20 minutes till I actually have to go. My other business is calling. So, um, yeah, I'm going to extend this video a tad longer than I normally would. And then I'll just get to editing the videos after this. Again, guys, if you're liking the type of content that I'm producing, comment, like, subscribe to videos. Get in on the action. Get in on Discord. I'd love to hear from everybody. I'm, I'm just gonna maybe just shoot that woman in the back. I don't know why they would put someone so negative into a game. It's not like it's enjoyable to hear someone, like, always badmouth you. It's ridiculous. Mother's Blessing. Stamina. Yeah, let's just get the weapon reload speed. Let's see if we can even see the difference. Yeah, you can't really tell. Um, okay. Inventory. Wastelander flail. Look at this thing. But this thing probably attacks so fast. Well, it's got some damage to it, too. You know, I'm gonna flail her. That's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna freaking whack her over the head with this thing. Okay, let's see. The Scouring Waste. Let's go. Uh, it's funny when they choose the types of materials that don't exist in these post-apocalyptic games. You know what wouldn't be sparse? Iron. Iron would be the easiest thing to find of all time. Just go to any major city, go to a warehouse and rip the steel beams right out of the ceilings. Yeah, sometimes it's like these people that make these games don't have any idea how the actual world works. It's like, come on. Why would forged iron be your item of choice? Ah. Ah. This is going to be a long-range dog snipe. God, what is that? Eslan's band. Let's see what you got, buddy. Clearly not much. I'm gonna drop in. Saying, how do you do? Yeah, I didn't think so.
Oh, well, that was a unique projectile. That was different. Oh, it was that face. Where's that face at? The auto aim in this game is really crazy. That was rough. They give you shots that you would miss in every other game. You know, I just went to blind fire him like it was Gears of War. Oh. Oh. There we go. Singing, how do you do? We got a big tough guy over here, huh? Oh, you realized, did you? The animation for when they get shot in the stomach and they just get knocked down and they eat it so hard is really good. Like I do have to commend them. They did a they did a couple of things in this game really really well and that is definitely one of them. I want to just go back into another Bloodborne mechanic fight. If someone hasn't made a game like that, that would be so much fun. I, you take damage the entire time, but killing enemies gives you health. And that's literally the entire game, and they just make it like a slaughter fest. That would be so much fun. I would play that game like crazy. Alright, let's see what we got over here. Let me check the map, make sure that we got everything. We did not explore to the north over there. There's a northern area that we did not see. Oh. Well, we got the checkpoint at least. And while I've got everybody on screen, why don't we check out what Ezlin's band is? Or Ezlan. Ezlan. Increases max health by 25. Okay. Well, I appreciate those. Band of fortitude. Data. The Iron Rift. Bulls are going to pay the iron price. Oh no, is this an exploder? <laughs> oh man. That got aggressive. Whoa. Well, they're giving you a ton of goodies so here, though. Singing, how do you do? Great. Okay, I feel like my pistol has effectively just gotten super... Get right in his face. Let me guess, you can shoot this. Okay, you cannot. Oh, two forged iron is huge. Forged iron is absolutely huge. Oh, 
Okay, well, they're throwing the blood warts at us. Oh. Alright, it was only scrap, that kind of stinks. Oh, what? I feel like that somehow worked out well, even though it really shouldn't have. What you got, baby? Oh! Oh no, his hand hitting me through that was super lame. Is there another one? Yeah, you might Next. Forged iron, heavy water elixir. Look at this. Making me a rich, rich man. This is fun. Oh, I've never picked one of these up before. Glowing rod. New item. Check your inventory. I am most definitely checking my inventory. Is this another weapon? Okay, so I'm guessing this is a key item. This key lies heavy in your hands, both burden and strength. I wish they would allow you to inspect items like in Resident Evil so you could really get a good look at what you picked up. 28 in? Okay, this video is starting to extend. Hopefully I can speed things up a little bit and get through here. Although this area does look big. This might just have to be a long video. It is what it is. So I think I just cleared out this entire area. Okay, so essentially forged iron is like the bloodborne equivalent of twin stone shards. So they're just giving me more jacked up items because they think I'm there. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Switch guns. <laughs> Uh, this is amazing when the combat gets crazy like this so that was rough this is like if you took destiny and i think you turned it kind of into a, like doom this is like doom doom and destiny had a kid they valued the doom world more but they made the upgrade system similar to destiny <laughs>
Okay, so we're at the end right here, so I'm just gonna walk around, kill anything Whoa. I see, and then collect whatever is around here, and then uh, we're gonna get out of here, because you can see the arrow at the top of the mini-map right now, so. Yo, man. How much? 2,200. I'm gonna upgrade my weapons like crazy now. Sweet. <sighs> They've given me a lot of forged iron in this area. It's made me very happy. Very, very happy. Okay. Think we're good. What do we got here? Yeah, we definitely got a wise guy. All right, well, that was pretty much it. We good, we good. All right, 32 minute video, guys. Sorry for the length of the video being a little long. Um, again, if you like the content that I'm producing, comment, like, subscribe, you know, get in on the Discord server, talk to me, ask me what's going on, check in on any video games that you want me to play. But for now, I'm going to go back to the ward. I'm going to upgrade my weapons, tie all the loose ends in between the videos, this video and the next one. And um, we're just going to keep hammering along. So catch everybody later. See you guys.